Our mold has been added to the Moldworks environment, and we can now use the complete set of Moldworks tools. We start with adding components. We have isolated the core plate and the core insert by double-clicking on the core plate from the Moldworks feature manager tree. Next, we click with the right-hand mouse button on the standard component folder. From the drop-down menu, select screws and then cap screw. The add cap screw dialog appears and the mold parts become transparent. We are going to fix the insert to the core. We select the bottom face of the plate as the start face in the dialog. And for the position, we select a pre-prepared positioning sketch from the SolidWorks tree. Immediately, the dialog switches to the second tab and four screws are previewed. Selecting the core insert will find the minimum screw diameter with length long enough to fix the insert to the plate according to a user modifiable screw rule. We modify the screw diameter to 8mm and create the screws. Next, we screw the ejector retainer plate to the ejector plate. This time, we select Show Ejection from the right-hand mouse button menu on the mobile folder. Again, select the bottom face of the ejector plate as the start face. We select the pre-prepared positioning sketch for the positioning points. As before, we select the ejector retainer plate to find the minimum screw requirement. Here we adjust the dimension to 10 millimeters. The screw is updated dynamically with an accurate representation of the screws. Now we add ejectors. This time the start face is the bottom face of the ejector retainer plate. We use the select other on the right hand mouse button to select through the ejector plate. Again we select the positioning sketch from the feature tree. Note we can create a SOLIDWORKS positioning sketch on the fly by clicking on the small sketch icon next to the positioning selection box. This will open the sketcher and once the sketch has been created and the sketcher closed, the software will return to the second tab of the component dialog. The ejector menu has a length parameter called ALT, which finds the length to the plastic and extends the ejectors to it. Again, Moldwork selects the minimum ejector diameter whose length reaches the plastic. We create a second ejector in the same manner. We use ALT again to find the plastic. This time we will modify the oversize to prevent overlapping of the ejector holes. We expand the skin section to check which parameters need to be modified. We modify D2 to 0.5 instead of 1 mm and create the ejector. Check out the next video to see how we create cooling pipes.